Hey guys, welcome to tonight's Celebrity Big Brother 2. I was gonna say updates and spoilers, but it's an episode chat. It's episode nine, and I, I wrote, Julie looks so classy and lovely. Seriously, did she get a new stylist? Because she's been killing it lately. Yeah. Good this for you, This is like Julie. three times in a row. At least, yeah, yeah. At least. So, last time, Batman, or the alter <laughs> ego of Batman, Joey Lawrence, went home to his girls. He yep. went to his girls. He's I, got all girls. I bet he got to watch the Super Bowl with his family. You know what made me so sad? What? Last episode when Joey was like, yeah, uh, my kids, uh, they never got to see me on TV because that was like a long time ago before they were born. <laughs> oh! They have something known as DVD. DVDs. YouTube. Or Hulu. Or, uh, or any of those. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Anyway, um, so anyway, <laughs> a lot of people were confused how the vote ended up being unanimous because yeah. it was looking like it was going to be a split vote, but it wasn't. You know what? Tamar just could not vote out Candy for They've multiple come reasons. so far. And she also needed somebody who was on her side. Tamar knows this game. Mm -hmm. And she can see that Lolo, Natalie, and Ricky are super tight, especially Lolo They're and Natalie. They're an unbreakable tri love triangle. And then even more unbreakable duo mm -hmm. inside of that. Mm -hmm. So she knows if she gets rid of Candy, she's going to be all alone. Mm -hmm. So Tamar was like, no, I'm not voting her out. So just as we suspected, the trio was like, well, she's going to stay anyway. We may as well try and save face exactly. here. And also they didn't want to give Tom the power to break the tie. Yeah. So now that Candy is friends with Tamar mm -hmm. again, She's warning her, uh, you really need to break up that trio. You need to uh, break up Lolo, Ricky, and Natalie. Even though they voted to keep me, mm -hmm. <laughs> we still need to do them dirty. Honestly, the more I hear this pitch, the more I agree with it. Oh, I agree with it from the minute I heard it. Yeah, it really does make a lot of sense for Tamar. So let's yeah. talk about the HOH competition. It's called Picture Imperfect, and it's knockout comp. We love the knockout comps. We do comps. love it. We love it. it they, had, they started this one, I think, last regular season. They, they show you the three magazine covers, and you have to pick the one that's not like the others. The one where Oprah has three hands, or somebody has one leg. Or and some like, part of a leg is missing. Yeah. <laughs> somebody's arms upside down. Yeah. Ugh. Right? Um, some of that was kind of horrifying. Maybe your arm is coming out of the front, like it's not in your shirt sleeve. Like Maybe Ryan your arm robe. is coming out of your head. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you have baby hands. Maybe. I don't know. All right, so uh, random draw was Ricky versus Tamar. Mm -hmm. And really, everybody was going after Kato because yeah. everybody felt like they were on the same page. But don't they, let Kato win. Needed, yeah, don't let Kato win. But Kato ended up making it to the final round. We're not going to go through every round because yeah. it's tedious. But he ended up making it to the final round with Tamar. Well, she had her lucky wig on. I know! I love that she shouted out her lucky wig. Lucky wig! That's amazing. Yeah. So, she also does not have to use the power oh, of the well, publicist let's now. let's say, like, she won. Tamar, I thought we said Tamar won. I don't won. think we actually said that, but Tamar oh. won. <laughs> Did we? I don't know. My brain is fried today. I don't know. And every day. Yeah. So, yeah, Tamar won the HOH, so like you were saying... Lucky wig. She doesn't have to use the power of the publicist. So Go that's to bed, gonna wig. Be, right? That's just going to be an unused twist. You think they should make her a housewife? I would love it. She's Wouldn't got her it? own stuff going on. Yeah. She's got her own stuff. Um, so, we go right to the noms. We're not wasting any time. Yeah, I mean, Julie needs maximum time to read her seven questions later on. <laughs> there wasn't a lot of time for strategy in this episode, but honestly, there wasn't a ton of strategy in the past two days, so. Everybody knew that Tom and Kato were going up. So who went up? Tom and Kato. Oh, Kato, because you're a big, big threat. And Tom, also a threat. Do you guys feel like they really edited Tamar's speech? Because I feel like she said way more than that. I feel like it was an episode of The Sopranos that they <laughs> had to cut out all of <laughs> on the like curse a, words on a was network, two seconds long. A network show? Yeah. Yeah. See you next week. Right? <laughs> all right. So, 
all <laughs> she thought this was hilarious. All of the old ladies of the house were talking in the bedroom. You're not old. <laughs> They're the oldest in the house. They're older. They're old in Big Brother terms, which is sad. Right? But no, because if you think about it, there's what? Five women on right now? Mm-hmm. Three of them are like older. And then two are younger. They're, they're old. They're all pretty They're over oldish, the hill. I guess. I don't know. How they're young the is hill. the youngest one? Like 34? Isn't Natalie like 34 or something? No, but we're talking about... No, I know. I'm just saying. I'm saying. They're the three oldest. Yes. Yeah. They're, they're over the hill. If you double their age, they're not going to make it. I don't like calling people over the hill. Everyone's hill is a different size. Exactly. <laughs> I don't think they're over their hills. All right. Um... They're saying Tom or Cato has to go, but you know who else has to go? Lolo, Natalie, or Ricky. Yeah, well, they were talking about Again. what's going to happen if Tom or Cato win the power of veto. So, Tamar doesn't want to put up Dina or Candy because she's kind of no. got something good going with them right now. She's yeah. got her own little group. She's got her own little unbreakable trio that somebody else will try to break up next girls. time. <laughs> the old ladies. Oh my god, I would love if they called themselves the Golden Girls. That'd what if everything. they called themselves the Olden Girls? No! Oh! <laughs> the old. Anyway, we're not age shaming. We no. love them. Okay. I'm old myself. <laughs> so anyway, um, Tamar says that she would put up Natalie because I love this when she's got Lolo's number. She's got number. the eye of the tiger. Yeah, but she was like, oh, Lola's so predictable. She's like, pop off queen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was hilarious. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right. So. But yeah, I agree. I think Natalie is definitely the bigger threat because she's much more level headed, much easier for people to get along with. Yeah. I feel like Lola would totally lose it if Natalie wasn't there. Oh, yeah, for sure. And Ricky, you just sit in the corner. <laughs> like he does anyway. Isn't Are you it gonna get your horoscope horoscope read? Your star chart? Yeah, but do you find it creepy when he stares at them when they're like in the Yeah working out in the hot tub? It's yeah. a little weird. But whatever. It's just like, it wears me out. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the power veto. <laughs> so the extra players were Lolo, Dina, and Candy. And of course Tom, Cato, and Tamar were all competing. So it was called Smashing Success. And this was exciting. Because they had to watch a performance by... A live performance. The one and only, none other than Gallagher. What? Oh my god, we used to watch Gallagher all the time. But, did you know that there was more than one Gallagher? I did not know that. There was Gallagher, and then when he got tired of swinging that thing, his brother took over for him. Really? Yes. And they performed under the same... Mm-hmm. They were both Gallagher. That's so weird, I never knew that. Couldn't they have gotten him a longer shirt? <laughs> Wait, so which Gallagher was that tonight? I'm not sure. It might have been the brother. Interesting. Because I'm not even sure the original Gallagher is still alive. Yeah, I'm not sure. I have to look into that. Yeah. Oh, so, it was really fun to see him, though. He smashed it all. I was waiting for him to take the hat off because I thought I remember one Gallagher took the hat off and the hair was attached to it. I feel... That sounds really familiar. Right? It sounds really familiar. That was a lot of Gallagher hair. <laughs> but anyway, this wasn't just for funsies, you know? They had to pay attention to what was smashed in what order mm -hmm. and the colors of things and all that good stuff. Right. Because then Julie was asking true or false questions based on the performance. And whoever had the most right out of seven at the end of it mm -hmm. was do you, the winner. Do you feel like Julie had a rough time with those seven questions? What do you mean? Reining them in. Oh, don't reset until I tell you! How many times did she have to say that? I don't and then know. we had to wait for them to go back and recreate <laughs> their answers so Julie could say who got points. Do you think Julie is the one, like, figuring that out live, or she hears it in her ear? Like, they tell I'm her. I'm not sure. I think she must be figuring it out live because really? she made them go back and do it. Yeah, but she could have just been speaking for production. Yeah. I don't know. I I don't know. That's a good question. We should uh, ask someone. 
All right, so Tom really sucked at this. I actually thought he was trying to throw it, and I'm like, why are you yeah, trying to throw it? Yeah, he really sucked. Honestly, I think maybe he was just so distracted by Gallagher, because like Gallagher. he said later, he's a big fan, so maybe he was just like, I'm enjoying the show. Who wasn't a big fan of Gallagher when they were a kid, right? Right, put on your poncho. Get, open your mouth for some watermelon. Are you in the splash zone? Yeah. Remember they used to have those, um, the thing that you pull up, the plastic? Yep. Oh. <laughs> Good times, but anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah so morning. Tom really sucked, mm -hmm. and Lolo had a perfect score. She was very uh, close to Tamar. She was like, it was like really. She was only like one off. Wasn't she was she? one ahead of Tamar. Yeah. yeah. Tamar Why would well. that have been different if Tamar had had won? Do you think Why? she would have used it? No, uh -huh. I don't think she wanted to make that move. But if somebody Else? used the power veto, oh, okay. then she would have put up right. Natalie. But I don't think she would have used it. Do so you think she threw it then? Mm, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. But maybe I didn't think of that. If so she maybe. if she wasn't going to use it anyway, yeah, it could be. What Once she been knew the that the guys were out of it, it. could be. Yeah. All right, so at the POV ceremony, which happened five seconds later, Lolo keeps the noms the same. No surprise there. Yeah. Um, and the and Julie reveals that the mystery power of the publicist was not used, and it is expired. And everybody's like, "What?" And Tamar really did you she see? She like, really, uh, yeah. If anybody was watching each other in the living room, they would have they noticed would that Tamar was all, "Yeah." It was me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's time for the uh, freaking frack to plead for their lives. Okay. Tom says thanks to everyone in the entire world. He did thank everyone. Everybody at CBS, all their employ, all their uh, relatives and uh, <laughs> offspring. Yep. And then everybody's Kate lawyers and accountants. Yeah. Exactly. Cato was waiting. Cato was waito to tell this joke where he was like. What Tom said. But then he did have an actual speech as well. Loved the nod to Carl, Carl Reiner. Reiner. We love him. Mm -hmm. Enter laughing, and now he will exit laughing. Yes. And he had so much fun. It was like summer camp, but not in the summer. It's fun. <laughs> All right. Um, the vote was unanimous, five to nothing for Cato to be evicted. Mm-hmm. He gave some half hugs. Ooh, it looked like like Natalie and Lolo went in for hugs and Kato kind of like brushed them like, off. It was uh, awkward. But Tom got a luxurious hug before Kato left. He got a full body. Yeah. <laughs> a hug with a little ooh. He got a Lady Gaga Bradley uh, Cooper hug <laughs> at the Las Vegas show. Not quite. That was an intense hug. That was. But Kato didn't even know like, can I open the door? <laughs> Do I open this? What do you, what are you think such a big celebrity that someone was going to open the door for you? Oh my god. Yeah, so he went out to do his interview with Julie. I feel like he was really loving that interview. Um, he was embracing the cheers. Julie kind of gave him a half hug. I don't know if you noticed. He's she's like, not a fan. Keep your distance, sir. <laughs> uh, he was surprised that it was unanimous. I was not. But then again, we had a lot more information that he did yeah. not. Uh, Julie basically had to tell Cato what was going on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of Julie for watching this season for once. Well, these are her She does. Equals it seems like she ish. way more enjoys the celebrity seasons. Well, she's not going to watch the nobodies. I guess not. These are her friends, some of them. <laughs> I'm sure she was friends with some of these people before they were on the show. Well, Julie was all, um, do you think you messed up when you did this? Why'd you align with the girls? And he was like, because they're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, Julie. <laughs> all right. Do you have anything else to say about this episode? Um, no. I mean, I thought it would have been really, really exciting if one of the guys had won the power of veto, but it just mm -hmm. didn't pan out that way. So yeah. it's going to be interesting to see. I was almost counting on one of them yeah. to win. Yeah, I thought they would be good at that challenge, but mm -hmm. they kind of sucked. Especially Tom. But it's going to be interesting to see how Tom copes without his BFF in the house now. Uh, they showed them all congratulating him, and I think it's going to. I think he's going to be fine. Is he going to be able to get some allies, though? I mean, if he wins HOH, yeah, but... I, he might align with the old. I mean, I think he's going to definitely try to work with Candy and Dina moving forward. He is forward. an old. Yeah. He's already in the club. 
Oh man. So for, we have a long time to wait. Thursday and Friday are the next episodes for yeah. this week. So but Friday is a two hour double. A two hour double. So that should be fine. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> so make sure you watch the spoilers because that's a long time to wait for the yes. next episode and you want to be uh, up on this, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? <laughs> Again? Don't you? <laughs> Again? No! Okay, so let us know what you guys thought in the comments. Who are you rooting for? We're getting down to it here. I'm still rooting for Tom. All right. And Tamar. Of course. So let us know what you guys thought. And until next time, much, much love. love.